Okay, recording. Good. I stand here. Hey everybody, I'm Andrew Marston, and recently there's been a lot of interest about the topic of scripting for After Effects, and it was also the number one result of our Facebook poll, and so today we have brought in an expert, and we're going to make a video about scripting. All right, Nate. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us here to talk to us about scripting. And there seems to be uh, not a ton of information about the topic um, compared to like After Effects tutorials on the internet, with right. the exception of this channel I've heard of called NT Productions, who makes excellent scripting videos. I don't know if you've heard of them. Yep. Um, <laughs> uh, so let's just start out with the basics. Uh, as it relates to After Effects, what, what is a script? A uh, script is basically a tool that you can run to automate or basically have a robot do any process for you in After Effects. So if you find yourself editing the same clips or doing the same process over and over, a good example of that could be if you need to maybe batch resize compositions or batch change something in the render queue, it can basically do it super fast for you and save you a lot of time. Is the Are scripts the same? as plugins and extensions or are those things different like how, how do the they're work? yeah they're they're a bit different in that scripts are mainly for like the automation side of things they're designed to do things sequentially um ex extensions kind of run scripts but they have a little bit more of a web-based interface so they have much more customizable uh pretty user interfaces that you can create and then plugins are typically things that are used to affect the pixels of the images or the video. And they can also be like sort of extra menus inside of After Effects if you've seen some of Video Copilot's like plugins. Right, right. Yeah, because the Video Copilot plugins, they actually come with an installer file. Right. Um, so when like are scripts, plugins, and extensions made the same way? No, each one has sort of different myriad of languages it uses. So scripting will use JavaScript, um, an older version of JavaScript. Extensions will use JavaScript because they include a script, but they additionally use HTML, CSS, and some web-based uh, languages. And then plugins use C++. C++. And you know, I'm assuming you know all those languages. Yeah, I know JavaScript pretty well, but C++ is a bit newer for me. Sure. Can you rank in difficulty and uh, amount of time that it takes scripting, plugins, and extensions? Yeah, easiest is scripting. Second is uh, extensions, and the hardest is plugins by far. Oh, by far. Okay. About how long would you say it took you to get uh, enough JavaScript knowledge to make a script? Um, I really started with nothing, and I what I basically did is I set a goal to make a slideshow generator where I give After Effects my images, and what I did to learn JavaScript was I basically said, okay, I need to import my images into After Effects. How can I make a script that does that? And then I moved on to the next goal, which was putting them into a composition, resizing them, etc. And I kind of just learned incrementally like that. Your slideshow script, about how long did it take you to make that? When you well, first made it, like when you're first starting out, I was fairly rushed in that case. That's sort of why I made it, but it probably took me about a week or two. But in reality, if I made a slideshow from scratch, that could have been how long that would have taken originally. But now with that slideshow script, I can create a whole bunch more slideshows in just a few clicks. Now, if you were to remake from scratch that slideshow script today, about how long would it take you? Probably two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, you were talking about scripting languages, and I'd love to move into the the section where we talk about actually making scripts. Like you aren't gonna sure. I'm not gonna ask you to make a script here live, although that would be a great idea for a video. For sure. Everybody, leave a comment if you want to see Nate make a script live. Um, no pressure there. Um, yeah, how scripts are made. So when you find yourself in one of those situations where you have an automated task or a task that you'd like to automate, what, what, what's the first step to making a script? Usually you'll want to open up some kind of coding program. There's Extend Script, which Adobe makes, and there's also Visual Studio Code. With Extend Script in particular, uh, you can link to any of the Adobe programs. And with Visual Studio Code, I believe there are ex uh, extensions to that program that allow you to directly interface with the program. 
where you can type some code, run it, and then you can immediately see the results. And I like to have it like split screen, so you have one program on one side, and you can easily go back and forth, modify code, see the effects and after effects, then just go back and forth. So extend script. I heard that it was being discontinued or phased out. Is that right? Or is it because it's kind of hidden in the Adobe Creative Cloud Manager app? Yeah. So it's a, I believe it's just a 32 bit application. And the recent Mac OSs only let you use 64 bit applications. So it's no longer supported really on the newest versions of Mac, uh, but you can still have it run on Windows. Okay. So it's still like fully functional and people don't have to worry. Like if I start learning how to use extend script next year, that's not going to be obsolete information. No, the, the code itself is not obsolete. The program in some respects is kind of obsolete. So people have used, you know, uh, visual studio code and you can use a myriad of other applications, which, uh, don't necessarily connect directly to the application, but you can still write the code in it. Okay. Okay. Um, which do you which do you use more, Extend Script or Visual Studio? I use Extend Script just because that's how what I learned on. But uh, eventually, I may have to switch over as well. So. Gotcha. Um, okay, so we've made it through the testing, and the script works perfectly. It's ready to publish. Um, how does that work? Well, when you want to publish something, you can upload just the just the code itself for everyone to read if you want, or uh, you can also export it as like an encoded JavaScript file, which you can do built into Visual Studio Code and Extend Script, and that just makes it so it's basically a bunch of random letters that make it impossible to read, but the script is read by the program the exact same. I gotcha. Okay, so the the encryption process that is a built-in feature of Extend Script in Visual Studio. Yeah, that's okay. just uh, I think a thing Adobe developed themselves to be able to protect scripts. Got it. Makes sense. Makes sense. So now, what if I wanted to add a license key? How does that work? Yep. Generally, AE Scripts and uh, Video Hive, which are the two main marketplaces, they have their own APIs which you can connect to. Um, there's a little bit of setup involved on the coding side itself, but all like the fancy website API and product key stuff is handled by the websites. Cool, cool. Uh, so if somebody is looking to make their first script, can you recommend maybe uh, an easy task that they could use to learn scripting with? I think a good thing to start with is just importing some footage from your computer, adding or creating a composition with that, and then maybe applying some effects or changing things like the position or the scale. Uh, those are some basic things that you can take a long way from just uh, automating part of your editing process or a whole lot of other things like slideshows. Is there any anything else you'd like to add about scripting? Like, There's probably a lot of questions I don't even know enough to ask. No, I mean, there's there's a lot to learn. You can do automation and a whole bunch of other creative things with scripting. You can analyze pixels. You can... Uh, create expressions and do anything you would with an expression, but with much more customizability. And you just have a whole lot of power to save time and money uh, with a script. Okay, well, um, so obviously we can find you at NT Productions YouTube channel. Um, where yep. else can people find you around the internet? Um, I have NT Productions on a various, various things like Instagram. I'm NT underscore productions, I believe. And uh, I do have a video hive of NT Productions. Uh, with a couple of old scripts, including that slideshow script you mentioned. Uh, but I am planning on releasing some more up-to-date plugins, uh, like a color stream generator and a day to night plugin pretty soon. Cool. Yeah, you've been doing videos about that. And you've also been doing videos about Mogurts, which are super interesting. Um, cool. Well, we'll link to all that stuff in the description. And I guess we'll just wrap it up. Thanks so much for being here, Nate. And everybody go subscribe to NT Productions. Yeah, thanks for having me. So that's the whole video. If you think it would be helpful to see Nate in real time make a script beginning to end, uh, leave a comment and we'll see if we can get him back. Otherwise, make sure you hit the like button so YouTube knows to promote the video. And of course, subscribe to this YouTube channel. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.